Okay, so here we got another space session. So, what, the base coat of white. What are you making now? Hold on, hold on. You're like a lure making crazy man right now. What What are you making? Talk to us. Looks like you got a through wire on this or what? Yep. It's called Buzzing Through Math. Buzz. <laughs> JB Lures Buzzing Through Math. Okay, now who's this one for? Mr. McFerrin, my math teacher. Mr. McFerrin, your math. Does he like to fish? I don't know. I know Coach Berkebile likes to. Might not want to leave him out either. All right, what are you doing here? Doing a base coat of white. Just a good base coat of white. All right, get going. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Get get all one side coated, then start turning. We're running right at about 25, or I'm sorry, about 25, 27 PSI when we're painting. Back up a little bit so you don't get that spray all over the place. You're on a good coat. You don't want it to run. Okay, so now we're going to do a belly of yellow. Why do you even say that belly <laughs> of yellow? Yellow for the belly. There we go. There we go. Oh, wow, that's bright. What's happening? What's happening? I don't know. What do you mean? What's happening? Right oh. there? I don't know, but. Ooh, that's nice. Pretty nice. Though. There we go. Pretty that nice. Let's see it. Hold it down here so I can get it in the light. Go ahead and get all the way up in the front of the nose if you're going to do. All right, what are you going to do next? Blue. We're top. Out on the top. Nice. Let's get So now we're going to do blue, a blue strip right across the middle. even on both sides if you're coming all the way down, okay? Mm -hmm. Where'd he go? Let me see. Nice. <laughs> Looking good, bud. Looking good. Yeah. Alright. What's next? This is my lateral line that I'm going to do in red. Back up just a little bit and you get a little bit better blending. See that? Sorry, mm -hmm. Marlon Bates. Because huh? we're not using the airbrush that you use. <laughs> yeah.
He's been making lures a long time, yeah. buddy. You'll get there. <laughs> Thing. So, everything you want to do? Nope. Maybe I'm going to do more. All right. Is that finished up? All right. That's looking good. Looking good, buddy. What's next? What do you want to do next? Put, put, it in the, put it in the frame. Put it in the frame. Lay it back down so we can see it. There we go. Sorry about that. That's all right. Looks pretty good. Now we're, what we're going to do next is dip it. Dip it in polyurethane. All right. All right, Isaac's already dipped it. He he done it without me. So there it is, dipped and baked. <laughs> but we'll get hooks on this one tomorrow. What's the name of this one again? Buzzing through math. Buzzing through math. We'll show you what that means. Tomorrow. What are you doing now, big guy? Hmm? I'm doing the thing. What are you doing? You could put all of them down that one side and then turn around and put all of them out on the other side. Mm -hmm. And then subtract, right? So, I'm done. Plus, square root times. Divide. Okay. So. And then minus. Nice. So, what is this called? It's called buzzing through math. Buzzing through math. <laughs> nice. I like it. This way or the same way? Just write it this way. Uh, it don't have to be in the same order. Uh, and then we'll get this thing dipped. All right, we're going to get this final dipped in here. Buzzing through math, right? <laughs> All right, let's dip it in there. All the way down. All right, spin it kind of slow. That looks pretty good, buddy. That looks really good. Yeah. All right, let's get this thing hung up, dried, get hooks on this bad boy tomorrow. Okay, so we got the buzzing through math done. Buzzing through math. Addition, square roots, multiplication, or I'm sorry, adding, addition, square root. Times, multiply, divide, subtract. Even got pi on top. How many clothespin lures does this make? Third. Number three. Let's see if I can show you the action here without it spinning off too much. Spins pretty well. I'm looking forward to seeing how that does, bud. Maybe we can multiply our catches. <laughs> So, comment down below. What else, what other kind of lure can we make out of a clothespin? Let's, let's hear your thoughts. Tell us what you'd like to see. But, this is Larry Johnson from the Outdoor Office. And no matter what the season, we got you on our sites. And this is Fishing Lures from Clothespins. Y'all be good and... We'll be posting another one soon.